Paul Cardell is one of the most successful independent artists in the U.S., garnering three number one albums on Billboard charts. His most recent album is entitled Par Paul Cardell Christmas. Welcome to 100 Humbly Street, Paul. So good to be with you. How yeah. are you? Oh, great. I can't <laughs> wait to hear your music. Thank you. An incredible, incredible story. Uh, when you were born, you were born with half a heart. That's right. That's right. Only a single functioning ventricle. It was a miracle that I even survived. I had surgery less than a day old, and that set me up for a very interesting life where I constantly was relying on God. Mm. You uh, kind of gravitated towards music because you couldn't really partake in sports. Right. Tell me about this. I was just not a good uh, sports person. <laughs> but I was led to the piano because uh, music, mm. music spoke to me in a way where I could feel joy and love and all these emotions and interpret things I was going through, hard things. And I sat at the piano in my parents' living room after I lost a friend, and I saw it as a puzzle, and I started putting the pieces together. And immediately as I played my first little piece, it was as though this warm blanket was put all around me, and God gave me safety and security, and everything evolved out of that one moment where I found healing to go on and help other people mm. try to heal their hearts. Describe what life is like when you only have half a heart. What are some it's, of the challenges that you go through? Well, you survive and adapt. A lot of us have different challenges. We don't yeah. expect these. We don't plan these. It's all part of God's great story. And for me, I had great parents of faith. They just celebrated 52 years of marriage. Oh. So I had tremendous support. Not everybody has that. They were very optimistic and they, they basically lived the principle that Einstein taught, which is to some, nothing is a miracle, and to others, everything mm. is a miracle. Mm. Mm. Uh, eventually, your heart started to fail even right. more, and you needed a transplant mm. desperately. Tell me about this, this journey. This was challenging yeah. because for me to get a, a donor heart, it meant somebody, somebody would sacrifice, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the way it works. And so I was really, it was really difficult for me. I prayed daily to God, to, for the family, whoever this was. I wanted to live, but I didn't want the heart of a, a father or a brother. It was very difficult. And finally, uh, my brother helped me realize that through organ donation, mm -hmm. through a person's sacrifice, I'd be able to live a little longer, but ultimately because of Christ, we would all live forever. He's the greatest organ donor of all. And so that helped me figure that out. But it was, it was a struggle, but it was an absolute miracle that God orchestrated. He continues today to just light the world with wonderful miracles that he's doing in healing people. And when he said, change your heart, I mean, I, literally, I took that serious. So, What was that like the first day that you woke up and you had this new heart? I woke up and I, I didn't know where I was, I thought I might be in heaven because I was surrounded by my family, but they were still my family there. And and it was just amazing. Imagine you're driving this beat up old truck your whole life. Yeah. It's all you know, you think it's pretty good. Everyone looks at you like, wow, you, got, that's, you look like you're falling apart. Mm -hmm. And then they hand you the keys to a Porsche. Mm -hmm. But you don't know how to drive a Porsche. Right. So you have to really readjust. I forgot a lot of my music. Mm -hmm. Really? I had to relearn everything. And uh, so, yeah, it was just a fascinating, miraculous. And you say also during that time you're grieving the loss of your donor, but you're also grieving your brother as well. My brother dealt with mental illness. Mm -hmm. So here you have all these children from my parents, and my, my parents lost a son who seemed perfectly healthy mm -hmm. but struggled in the brain. And he was a brilliant person, mm -hmm. and yet he passed away so I had to focus on living yeah. and I fought like crazy because there was no way my mother was going to lose two sons in one year. And I, I asked God, I said, I know I can't negotiate. I can't negotiate and I'll walk through Nineveh if you want me to. But I hope and pray that my mother, you know, that I can live for my brother and live for my mother and live for my, my family. Yeah. 30 seconds left. What does Christmas mean to you this year? Christmas is everything. Every day is a gift, and the greatest gift ever given was Christ, the Father giving His Son. And I count my blessings. All of you who are struggling, just realize that it might be a difficult day, but things are going to get better. They really are. Oh, thank you so much, Paul. All right, in just a moment, we'll hear...
Christmas classic that I'll probably be performing, Oh Holy Night. Stay with us.